The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building, Ty Fontaine in the building. My guy, how are you doing today? Good, man. How are you? We just celebrated two years of Ascension, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, literally, like, when we recorded this, like, what, like, a week ago or a couple days ago? Yeah. No, it was, like, uh, a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago? Okay. Yeah, Ju- uh, actually, a month ago, almost June. But, yeah. Uh-huh. How are you feeling? Man, good. It's It's surprising. Like, time flies. That project is, like, my baby. So, like, it really, uh, it really made me, um... Just like reflect on like the last couple of years. Mm. What reflect. were some of the things that you were reflecting on? Uh, uh <clears throat> where I was, where I've been, mm. where I am now. Just being grateful, you know. That was a a big project for me, a big stepping stone. I was like, right when I got independent, and um, yeah, it was just you know looking back and just being grateful for real, for real. When you first went independent, you were putting that out. Were you like, were you nervous? Were you? I wasn't nervous. I had good people around me, and I was mm. just really confident in the work, like. Everybody who I was playing the album for at the time was just geeking. Like, and these are like the people that were on the project were big people, like Super Mario and Bugs, and like they work with huge people. So like, yeah, you know, just being able to work with them at that time because I had really wanted to. Like that was like a milestone for me. And then them like certifying the work and like really giving it their stamp of approval just made me like, okay, yeah, this is gonna do what it do. For right. Sure. And two yeah. years later, it did what it did, right? For sure, it did what it did. Standing the test of time, still going up. St- like random songs on that sh- don't just be shooting up randomly. When I look at like my Spotify for artists and shit, like. Which is like so, one recently that shot up that you were like, oh wow, like why is this one shooting yeah, up right Pristine now? Pristine started going nutty again for some reason. Like it was doing, it went down to like, I don't know on Spotify like maybe like right under a thousand streams a day, and then. Went up to like two thousand and three thousand, like just randomly. So like I was just like, damn. And that's like two years later. Maybe like play through playlisting. Maybe or... through the algorithm. Maybe somebody played. Maybe it TikTok. On some, maybe some TikTok started, or YouTube. Yeah. I'm thinking that maybe somebody played it on like a little video. Live stream. Shit. Yeah, and then it helped the algorithm, and then it just kept going. But yeah, that's how I know that thing is standing the test. It's kind of crazy how it's like weird how like someone like you look at someone like maybe like Kai mm-hmm. Sanat like could just play like. Uh, like, let's say he played, like, a song off Ascension, mm-hmm. and then out of nowhere, it's just, like, boom. Yeah. Like, two years later. Or, like, on TikTok, you know, somebody could speed up the song and make a dance challenge to mm-hmm. it, or it could become, like, a like some type of, like, even a meme, and now it's like, oh, wow, now everybody's back to streaming, yeah. like, that song Rework again. Rework it. It's brand new, like, for sure. With, um... Now, like, it would be it be wrong of me to not... You, you've been teasing A2, right? Yeah, for sure. And it yeah. is Ascension 2, Ascension correct? Ascension 2. Okay, right? And it recently got pushed back, mm-hmm. um, but it's coming. It's coming. Okay. It's coming. Now, Ascension 2 is interesting to me because when Ascension 1 came out, mm. I feel like you weren't dropping as frequently as you are. Mm. Now, like, very much in a different space. Mm. I know you've been talking about multi- pro- multiple projects a year, mm. which I'm going to get to, right? Mm. But um, A2, how do you, how does, how is it kind of like in the same vein as A1? Because, you know, people sometimes will name, like, oh, like, this will be the sequel to this project, mm. but it's not really the same. The same mm. You know what I'm saying? It's something yeah. still, like, brand, mm. it's something brand new. Like, how is A2 a step up from A1 and kind of still keeping that same vein while yeah. at the same time you're doing all these other collab projects and all yeah. this other stuff that you got dropping. So really, like, I've been working on this jump since I had some... So even from the original A1, I had kept some songs that I thought were going to be on this. They didn't end up making a cut, but i really been thinking about this project since I dropped... Maybe not A1. Since I dropped Beautiful Michi Girls, which is right after Ascension. Right. Like, right after that, I was focused on making this. So, you know, it's... It's it's elevated. It's definitely it's still the same feeling, not necessarily like the same exact sounds, mm. same exact cadences or whatever like that. But it's the same feeling. Like I want to bring that feeling back to when you press that play button on Ascension for the first time. Mm. Like that was my main focus, bringing that emotion back, bringing that feeling, um, and then kind of staying sonically similar, but right. like not exactly the same. Upgrading it. Elevating it, not necessarily. Elevating. Does the intro track kind of like bring that like, okay, yeah. I, you hit the intro track of A2 and it's like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. It feels like I'm back in, back in the... 2021 mm-hmm. listening to Ascension. Yeah, just back like n- not even like the same time stamp or time or like period in time, but how it made you, just exactly how it made you feel. Like any, like I know for me when I turned on, when the, the intro track is um glowing up. Like as soon as I press that, it feels like I'm like going into like a different, place like mm. totally like, i fuck with like that I'm, yeah you feel me like literally ascending 
You feel me? That's what that first track does for me. And for this, like, it started at that. Like, okay, what's the intro going to be? How am I going to bring them into this world? And then the rest of the track list, I feel like. The Joan is pretty much done. I make some shit here and there that I kind of, like, replace. But it's really about us getting into a situation where, like, okay, this is going to get properly taken care of and properly put on the pedestal that I want it to be on. That's mm-hmm. why we've been, like, pushing it back and shit like that. Right. Eight, so A2 is done done. Pretty much. We still working. Like, I got producers that, like, hit me up. Like, really, my homies, um, a few of them want to make sure they on the shit. And, like, right now, they might not be. So, like, I get in with people just to make sure, like, they, you know, they, they're a part of it. Because I got people that worked on the last one that want to make sure they're on this one, too. Mm-hmm. So, like, other than that, it's pretty much done. Mm. Okay, what? Is, is, do you have features on A2? Or is it all Yeah, you? I got some. We're working on getting a couple. Okay, because mm-hmm. I, I know like you have a good relationship with Junie, right? Mm-hmm. So I like to see. I would like to see Junie on A two. Of course. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if that if he is, but if he yeah. is or not. But no, nah, we can say that. he definitely is. Junie, okay. Yeah, he, we have too much music for him. Not we have too much slaps. Like since I moved <laughs> back home, I moved back home in February from yeah. LA. Like it's every other day, or every, it's every other day because every day is excessive. But like, damn near every day that you guys are together the, in the studio together. Like either. He was in there earlier in the day making some shit, and then I come in, and then like we overlap, mm-hmm. and then shit like that, and then I'll make shit, or like we go in there at the same time, know we're gonna make shit together, or the opposite. I'll be in there from the beginning, and he'll come in later, and we'll overlap, like, but we're always making shit, like, and we do it just for fun, like, we might just be sitting in the studio all day, like eight hours in that jump, all day, not make nothing, just shooting the shit with the men, just like talking and shit, playing 2K, mm-hmm. and then like somebody will play a beat, you're like, bruh. Mm-hmm. Let's do this, right? Yeah. Like, how far back do you and Junie go? Like, how long, like, What's the relationship 2018. There? Okay. Yeah, 2018. Okay, so a while. So five mm-hmm. years. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a long time. Yeah. What was your decision to move back home from L.A.? Uh, L.A. is just such a bubble. I needed to get back to real life. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you. Mm-hmm. I went to L.A. for the first time with the BET Awards. Like, I had never really gone to L.A. before. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been to other places, like, but mostly New York. Mm-hmm. And L.A., like, it just wasn't, I don't know. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't really my Wasn't really, my wasn't really your swag. Yeah, you're from nah. New York, bro. I feel like <laughs> L.A. people like... New York, but New York people don't really like L.A. like that. Yeah, I'll say a lot of my friends who move to L.A. for work in the industry, too. Mm. Like, they just don't like it out there. Yeah. It's too slow. Mm. Um, I don't know. I would say I, would, I didn't feel creative out there, but I definitely felt like I definitely felt like there wasn't it wasn't like the creative space that I need to be in, which, you know, some people yeah. it is, but not really for me. <clears throat> it's creative. It's just it's creative and there's motion and there's money, but it's real like uh it's not really about like how I don't necessarily think it's about like how hard you working or how hard you grinding. Yeah. It's more about like you know the strings you pull and the people you know and like how you can get your way in the situations plus your talent. Like, right. But even then, like you don't really need that shit to really go up and. and it's a very if you like rub shoulders with the right people, yeah. like you'll have a good time out there. Yeah, you feel me? In New York, I feel like more people respect the hustle. Like right. they see you going up, they see you going hard. And it's like, okay. And they fuck with you, you because of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, bro, you could, you could be working hard as shit in this studio all day. Like, what's your numbers looking like? Oh, who do you know? Bro? <laughs> right, like, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, who are your friends with? Like, yeah. Bro, bro. Speaking of your hustle, right? Five yeah. albums in 12 months. That's the goal, right? Or five projects in 12 yeah. months. You had tweeted it. You said five projects, 12 months. Yeah. I'm not even working like this to prove something for the money. Mm. Uh, or for the man, man, manyan, 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 the manyan. I've heard mandem. I've heard the man, manyan. What's the manyan? Manyan is like manyan, manyan, manyan again. That's money. Okay, word. But you said the only thing mm-hmm. uh, that wakes me up in the morning is the thought of me becoming the best artist I can be. Mm. Is that pure? So like, when did like when did you kind of like start out on this? Like, okay, I'm gonna do five projects in twelve months. Like, mm-hmm. when did that begin? It wasn't even like that was the number. It was really like, even from the time I dropped, like. Ascension, Beautiful Meet You Girls, like, my drive has, like, bro, at least a thousand songs on it. Like, I lied to you not from the time. I got that drive right before I moved out to L.A. with uh, I Am and shit. That was, like, in 2019. Mm-hmm. I got a fat-ass drive. It has, like, 12 terabytes. It's a big-ass drive. But shit got, like, a thousand songs on it. And I've only dropped, like, maybe 100 or 200 songs. You right. feel me? And that's a lot. Of, even if the songs, like, the, even if there aren't good songs in there, that's a lot of songs not to have some really good songs that I'm, like, just looking over. You feel me? Yeah. So, like, a lot of that was me getting back home, you know, getting back on my people, playing the shit I've been making, playing the shit I made for them, and, like, people telling me, yo, you're not dropping this? i like, bro, you're crazy for not dropping this. You feel me? And it's like, damn, I have so much music like that. I got to put it out. And then me not, like, a day I miss recording, like, I feel damn near sick. Like, I don't, mm. I don't like not recording. And if I am not recording, it's because, like, I went, like, real hard and I damn near got sick from going real hard, like, going in the studio 
6 a.m. to, six, I mean, 6 p.m. to 3 a.m., like, and doing that for weeks on end, and then I get sick or some shit, or then I don't feel good, then I can't go to the studio, or I real life need a break. But <clears throat> that's what it is. Like, this shit is, the thing that keeps me going is wanting to be better at this shit. And, right. like, I feel like people should see the progression. So that's really what it's about, like, putting the music out. And something could be in that jump, so, right. you know, who's for me to say? So that, that's really what it is, not like, you know, I can do five projects in a year. Like, I'm a mixtape guy. Like, it's just like, <laughs> I have I have music, bro. It's like, y'all should hear it. Did BTL kind of come from that same thought process, too? Yeah, that one was really in the mix, too. That I made that whole project the week before, um, or the two weeks before I moved from L.A. So... Mm. I was like packing and stuff. My parents came and helped me pack. Um, but I just had a lot of free time in the, not the week right when I moved, but the week before. And um, Legion has this studio. That's who produced the whole thing. Yep. Yeah. Um, he has a studio like five minutes from me. I used to ride my bike there. Oh, wow. Okay. And yeah. So I just went there every day, like for that whole week. And we made that shit. We you made that couple, in a week? Yeah. We had a couple wow. other songs. We had like three other, three songs on there that were done like from previous sessions and shit. But, um, yeah, the most of, majority of that was done with Legion and um, Soul was an, was the engineer in the session. And you said that uh, Asen uh, not Ascension. You said that this project that you did with Legion was mm -hmm. top three in your discography. Yeah. You said uh, you said uh, Ascension, BMG, and uh, BTO, mm -hmm. and that in that order specifically. Yeah. One one to three. Yeah. One to three. Okay. Yeah, definitely for me. For personally. you. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good that you still like that. Even like with that project, is like you still feel like that's in your top three. Like you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I think sometimes as artists go on in their career, they might be like, "Oh man, nothing's gonna ever top like my first project or come close." But like, I like how you're in that space. Where it's mm -hmm. like, no, I'm still making the shit that's coming just as close mm -hmm. to my top project. And A2 is, yeah. you know, could be that project that surpasses A12 when it comes out. Yeah, I think for me, it definitely like as far as replay value. Like I was listening to Ascension for a few months before I dropped it. Like full on, um, like the whole track list was done. Mm. Here I'm in that same kind of position and I feel like I can listen to this more. Like I would turn on Ascension like twice in a car ride maybe and like listen to a few songs. Sometimes I listen to the whole thing yeah. all the way through. But this one, I get in the car, I listen to it all the way through. Mm. Get into the car, listen to it all the way through. Or I get to the studio and listen to it all the way through. Yeah. So it's like, and I still, it still feels refreshing. And it's been a few months since like the track list has been really like solid, so. I'm I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited for the people to hear it for sure. You also like recently spoke about longevity in the game, right? Uh -huh. And kind of how like you're not doing this because you want to just blow up, right? Uh -huh. um, speak to me a little bit more about that and where your head is at when it comes to like your longevity in in, in music. I'm gonna be like Larry June, fool. I like that. Larry June, lucky. But Larry June really getting to it, and like. My dad is from like the Bay, so I see kind of that swag. Okay. And I like kind of like it's like real hustle, like it's real, you know. He not really he dropping five mixtapes because of the hustle, but real life because he had the music too. Because like his lifestyle is just you know make music, do cool shit, invest in some businesses, you know, do what he wants to do type shit. But like, keep pushing. You know, keep pushing. The music is always there, so it's like why not put it out? This is the product. It's a good product. The people going, the people going fuck with it. You know right. what I'm saying? So like Larry June, as far as like career trajectory mm -hmm. is like what I look like. Cause he got, uh, I don't know if he got, I don't know if he got dropped twice or once, but he, he had a label situation and it fizzled out, I think twice. So like, and seeing that and him being where he is and then getting with Empire and then, you know, doing his thing, but like just weathering the storm, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that, I see that and I really respect that. I was about to say, do you kind of feel like with, with your career, like that's like a, you know, you have like that similarity of past, but obviously you going independent and mm -hmm. whatnot. Like, do you yeah. feel like that's also why you kind of view Larry that yeah. way too? No, for sure. I see similarities. I see parallels and that's why. Parallels. I like, that's what I was looking yeah, thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. Like, and I definitely gravitated to him towards that. And the music is just fire. The music really caught me. Like people was telling me to listen to him. Then I listened to the music. I was like, this is fire. And then I heard the story. And then I was like, okay, nah, this is really fire. Right. Because I feel like Larry could go do some shit where it's like, okay, like you see him like doing like just a lot of partying. Then you make yeah. an album about partying yeah, or like, that, you know. It's like, the lifestyle. Yeah. Like, that's just like, you know, go live life and then make the music about it. Like he probably going to the party, going to the studio right after. Like that's the type of shit we was on. Or that's the type of shit we be on for real, for real. You right. Know, whatever we do, we end up at the studio after and it's Make a song about it for real, for real. And you also been like talking like uh, something else that I seen you talk about recently. Like you were asking like your fans like who they want to see you do a project with next. You had like you had said like um, what I put it SJR mm -hmm. uh, or Table Bugs. Bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
Yeah. Are those already like happening or are you just asking they them are, like which one would they want first or Yeah, me and Bugs got a lot of stuff. Me and Bugs and um he has a lot of producers sign him. I think like three. So like me and a lot of his guys have stuff. And then me and SJR have a project that's done, ready to come out. Okay. It will cool. be out soon. Probably okay. the next thing to come out. That'll be the next thing to come out before A two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you want A two to come out before that originally? Yeah, but I'm not trying to rush it. Like it's real. Yeah. Like I need to be in a and not if it's not a like a situation where, you know, we're we're in a label. It's a situation where we have like marketing budget to push this thing. How I really because it has to like, I know the music is there and I need it to like be there. <laughs> you you feel to, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need it to. Uh, you feel me? It need to be everywhere. To really in, pop in front of your face. Not even to pop. Like I need everybody to see it so they hear it. You hear me? Yeah. Because I know if they hear the first listen, it's over with. Like that's the thing with me. So like. I'm not even trying to play around with it. I'm not. I'm not rushing it. Mm. It's in, you know, it's gonna happen when it happens. But until then, y'all, y'all gonna get these tapes. Right, know? right. You never right. got. You have you ever reached out to Larry June too? Since we were talking about him. You reached nah, out. Oh, okay. Never reached out. You should. Yeah. I feel that'd be a dope little. This. Yeah, I'll probably have you know Malcolm and Piper reach out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. he just wrote this. So he's like, he's like, I guess. Yeah. He's like, yeah. I guess what I'm gonna mm-hmm. do now. Yeah. So who um what else? So we got the couple projects this year, right? Mm-hmm. What else we got cooking up for the rest of this year? What else you working on? Um working on music. Just really music, bro. A lot of music. A lot of so I have this brand I'm working on. Right now, the first thing we're doing is getting like all the pieces together for Ascension 2. It's called House of Fontaine. I like that. that. Yeah. So like that. I had a I had another streetwear brand, but it was like more of like my first dibbling, dabble into it. It was called Tsunami. And um, it was more like friends and family stuff, but I used mm. to run that up and not run it up, but I give I gave a lot of pieces. The, I gave a lot of those pieces away to my homies in um, L.A. But yeah, just really music, the clothes and then um, just living good, bro. I'll be working out. My cousin is like a huge inspiration to me. His name's Taj. He's my like day to day manager. He's with mm. me on the road, but bro was like. 300 pounds, like shed at 150 or <laughs> He's also man, he's also your bodyguard too. Yeah, <laughs> like he real got swole. I'm like, damn, like I real, you know, he's 30, like real. He was like, yeah, I just need to make a change and did it like that. I'm like, damn, like you could real do, you know, anything you put your mind to. So I'm like, you know, trying to live healthy, trying to like, you know, work out and just yeah. keep my mind straight, you know, other than just the things I want to do in life. Like with music, Road manager, right hand man, bodyguard, yeah, does it all. Shout out Taj. Does it all. Shout out Taj, <laughs> man. I know he's gonna watch this. Shout out to us. Well, look, man, I appreciate you being here. We mm-hmm. look forward to A2 and all the other projects you have on the way. Appreciate um, it. Bro. Congratulations on everything. Uh, before we get up out of here, oh, Freestyle Now, so go check that out. That is out by the time y'all see this, so go run that up. Um, before we get up out of here, anything else you want to let the people know where they can follow you at? All that good stuff. Now is the time to do it. This Let's camera it. right here. This camera right here. Yes, sir. Uh, follow me at Ty Fontaine 1800 on everything, I believe Twitter, Instagram, yep. TikTok, all that shit. A2 is coming soon. Be ready for that. Be ready for these. Um, the pieces from House of Fontaine. What else? Couple takes coming. Couple tapes coming. And um, yeah, bro. That's about it. Appreciate On the Radar for having me. Appreciate it, Gabe. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, man. Well, make sure you go check out all those tapes when they're out. Yeah, um, make sure you go check out the brand when it's out, too. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be selling that. A2 on the way. Bunch mm-hmm. of other dope shit on the way. Freestyle out now. Go run yes, that sir. up. Go oh, follow. yeah. BTL out right now, too. Black Truck Life out now. So go BTL stream that. out. You know what I'm saying? He said mm-hmm. it's top three in his discography. Go top find out three. why if you ain't listening yet. All right? Yeah, man. So go check that out. Uh, produced by Legion, too. Produced by Legion. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So go follow them. Go show them some love. Go show them some support. Love is free. Support is free. But y'all already knew that. Freestyle out now. Until next time, Ty Fontaine on the radar. Yes, we out. Uh, My guy. Love. Dang.